This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. So, another day of recordings, another day of Gran Turismo 6. This is possibly, I want to say the second or final, depending on how much time I have today, recording session of GT6. We're going to begin with the International A Mission Races. Five more mission challenges. We have the Super GT 500 Class Battle, the Group GT3 Battle, the Futures Dark Nürburgring Battle, run, uh, Ruling the Rain Skirmish at Spa, and the Old Meets New Ferrari Showdown. So, Super GT500 battle, we basically go from the, the start-finish line all the way down to the two Degna corners. Degna, Degna. I think the corner names are there. I always get the corner names confused. I always mix them up. But, regardless, we're driving the uh, Castro Tom Super from 1997. This sexy beast that we drove in... Uh, I think we drove it in GT5 during the Super GT series. Degner 2. Yep. Degner. That's what it's called. Thank you. 47.2 is the time we need, which won't be that difficult because it's GT6. Let me press the brake so I can calibrate. Oh, rolling start. Rolling start. A really quick one, too. I drove enough cockpit view in GT5 to show off the cockpit of the car. All right, Ben, since you're in chat, can you give me some pointers, please? Because I don't know how to drive these cars that well. I think I took that corner bad. Yeah, I'm going to need your help, Ben. Please, I need help from the Super GT500 master himself. Yes, it's a motherfucking Supra. I need to get past the GTR before the... There we go. Yep, before the first Degner. A bit slow. But it'll do. Aim for the wall, go full speed. Ah, shit. Well, I didn't do that, and I still, I still won. I think I need to do that to get like the world record or something. I mean, only you would know. Anyway, 16k. That's mission one complete. Because it's Super GT 500 and the Castro Tom Super as Pog, uh, we're gonna save the replay for that one. Also. My neighbors are working on something outside. I don't know if you can hear those hammers going off, but something's banging, all right? All I hear right now outside my window is literally... <laughs> all right, anyways, mission two. To the Nürburgring we go with the SLS AMG. Can't say cockpit without cock. Exactly. Okay, the microphone's picking up a little bit of their, of their yard work outside, but whatever. Or whatever the fuck they're doing, I don't know. So, where are we at the Nürburgring? Okay, so after the hairpin, Schumacher S, all the way to the chicane. All right. Fair enough. You don't hear anything? Well, my microphone's barely picking it up. Right. I can look at my... Well, the R8 that's leading, uh, I got stuck behind him in one of the corners, and uh, yeah, I went off track trying to get around him quickly. Fuck. I just said in the first attempt, avoid the curbs, because unlike sport, it sucks you in in this game, and I use the curb too much. Sorry, Burnout. I have to dive bomb the Z4. That was terrible. Fuck, I missed the gear too. Ew. You don't have to kill me, Arthur. That should be good enough for gold. Yep, that's good enough for gold. And in the pits we go. Well, that would have been easier if uh, we just did it the first time, but meh, it's all right. Whatever. Well, you don't like the Super GTs, period? Like, okay, look, all joking aside, Ben, like, you don't actually like Super GT at all? Like, I know we joke about, we, I know we joke about it all the time because you had, I think it was GT4 or GT3's uh, All Japan GT Championship that, that made you hate Super GT racing somewhat, but, like, do you actually hate the GT500 class? Like, seriously? Anyways... To the full Nurburgring we go. We're at the 24-hour layout, but for some reason, we're only running the Norschleife. Which is weird, but okay. Minute 12 is the target. Yep, we're literally running from Hattenbeck all the way to is that section. Okay, fine. Although, I don't know why. Oh, wait, TCS. 
I keep forgetting to turn it off on every single car. I forget these are loaner cars and not cars that we bought. Okay. Note to self, stop touching other cars. Like, okay, idiot, you spun out on the final on the first final corner first attempt with an easy goal, then you touched cars twice. I just need to realize that even though this is an easy gold, I don't have to rush myself because these cars are slow as fuck. Just because they're slow doesn't necessarily mean I have to ram my way around them. This challenge is not difficult. It's piss easy, but the AI is terrible and they're slow as fuck and they hold you up. That dive bomb was a lot safer than the previous one. Exactly, dude, that, that pig is so damn happy. Yeah, proceeds to read Sonic High School. Exactly. We're we're always uh, we're always doing that here on uh, Twitch.tv forward slash The Moving Chicane. Also, YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash The Moving Chicane. Poglin, do you have that one? Like, I need to I need to update my my better TTV. I need to get those that plug in that shows off all the better TTV emotes. Oh my god, again! But this time I didn't spin. And this shows off all the better TTV emotes and Frank... I forget what the other one is called, the other plugin, but um, the other one that shows off every single emote that I um, have uploaded. Anyways, that's challenge number three complete. Not difficult at all. My own stupidity just caused me... It's not an actual emote yet. Oh, it needs to be made then. Someone needs to upload it on better TTV or any of those, any of the other one programs that I mentioned before. Anyways, challenge number four... Ruling the rain. Back to Spa. Reunited with the Nurburgring 24-hour winning car from GT5. The uh, R34 Touring car. This time it's not Midnight Purple, sadly. Hey, what's up, Gabe? So a minute four is what we need. And um, we're on heavy wets, which means that this car's going to have absolutely no grip in the wet. Uh... Hood cam is perfectly fine because since we've driven this car in GT in GT5 for 24 hours and eight of those hours roughly were in the cockpit view, I'm just going with roof cam. So what do we got? Impressive touring car in front. Who's in second? I didn't even bother checking the list, but even, no, actually there is no list you can check. Is that an RX-7 leading? Oh, it is an RX-7 leading. Nice. That's pretty sick. Oh god, I overshot the hairpin. Go on, do I have enough for gold? I do. Okay, good. I thought overshooting the hairpin was going to cost us gold, but it didn't. We, we, we had enough, which is good. If I, sh if I had failed that one, I would have been really mad at myself. <laughs> Anyways, only one more challenge to go, and uh, it's going to be that old versus new battle with the Ferraris. What have we had so far? We have old versus new. We had Chevrolet. We had Lamborghini. I forget which other ones we had. That's how kind of low-key forgettable these mission challenges have been. I think one of them... I know one of them is with a 4 GT. I think that's a super licensed one. That one's pretty cool. If I remember correctly, that is. Because I never really did any... I never did challenges in, these, in this game. The challenges were just kind of... Eh, for me. So, one lap around Apricot Hill Raceway. What's the new Ferrari that we're going to have to face off against is the question. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a four, five, eight. Yep, I knew it. That car was kind of like the poster child for these racing games in like the late 20, uh, 2000s, early 2010s. Now, people who watch me live right now, um, you guys didn't see me drive the Dino, but I drove the Dino when I had to do those offline recordings when I had no internet. 
because I wanted to get this game out the way during the Italian, or it was either the Italian festival or the, I think it was the Italian festival now that I think about it. But yeah, uh, I drove this car already, so I already know what it feels like. All we need is a Stratos, so that way Ben and I can have our showdown again. Or like millionth rematch. Because that combination of Sakuba with the Dino and the Stratos is really freaking fun. I feel like this is a good lap so far. Probably be an easy gold. Missed the gear. Okay, that was really early on the brakes. But this isn't really a showdown. I mean, the 458 is basically just like, alright, he let us by, and then he's just like, alright, I'm just gonna follow you. Like, man, this is intense. This is a this is a showdown, alright. Totally not a parade. With all these mistakes, any other Gran Turismo, this would be a bronze medal, but this is a gold in this game. And he passes for good measure. Whatever. Well, that's all the IA mission challenges complete. Almost done with the IA section. Almost. Only one more thing to knock out, not counting coffee breaks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, Tusho. Well, the question is... Oh, that's right. Price car. What do we get? Ooh. Nice. I actually really like this car. I know it's against... I, I know it's a human, uh, a humane violation for not getting Rosso Scuderia or Rosso Corsa, but I really like this car in white. Maybe because of the Grand Tour event in GT5, but I think this car in white looks really freaking cool. I don't think we're going to use it. We might. We might use it for one of the Super License events. I don't know yet. At this point, it might be a toss-up between this and another car that I had on my list, but I forgot. I didn't even know that was a price for that. Anyways, what is the percentage now? 83%. Okay, 1% gained. So nice. Only one more IA event to complete that is not a copy break.